Hey you guys doing? FlexNG here. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to play Omen on split, specifically for attack and defense. I'm going to get into the other guys later this week, you know, Bind, Haven, and Icebox to finish off the series for the attack and defense guides. Um, so if you guys do like these kind of videos and you learn something, feel free to drop a like on the video as it does help. Subscribe if you want to see more content and enjoy the guide. So starting off this guide, I'm going to be attacking a site. I'm going to show you two smokes that you should be throwing as Omen. So these are the two smokes. You want to smoke up heaven here. You want to make it as if it's a wall blocking the entrance way here. You don't want to have it leaking out onto Rafter as the enemy can lurk inside of it. And it just makes it more unpredictable where the enemy could be. So this is the smoke that you should go with here uh, on heaven or Rafter, whatever you want to call it. And then the second smoke should be screen right here. Again, same concept. Make it a wall, not something like this where they can actually lurk in the elbow. So this is a uh, this is an example of another good smoke. So these two smokes. I really just want to clarify as to why it's important to cover just the doorway with the smoke rather than having it sit out on rafter. So if you have the smoke sitting out on rafter here, yes, it covers this doorway, but it's very, very unpredictable of where you could, uh, where the enemy could be inside the smoke. They could be, you know, over here in the corner of the smoke, and they could actually just drop off. They could actually surprise you right here, and it becomes more unpredictable of where they're going to be. So throwing a smoke that forms as a wall is so much easier and more predictable of where the enemy is going to push. Uh, so as soon as the enemy leaves this, it, you can see them right away and there's no element of surprise there. So as for your paranoia, it's actually a little tricky to use for attacking. I'd actually save it for post plant most of the time, but if you do have information of where the enemy is playing, if they're playing under rafter or they're playing in sight, you know, by the sign or in this corner, you can actually use your blind and it's really, really effective. However, if you don't know and you're just kind of randomly guessing, uh, you're you're playing a, a risky game that's $400 and if you waste it, GG. Um, so what you can do is use this cubby to your advantage. You can blind this entire line here. So what this this happens uh, with this blind you can blind sign you can blind the elbow off angle here uh, but the only problem with this blind in particular it doesn't get the back right corner of sight so with this blind you can blind, blind. like that However, if you know someone is playing in the back right corner and just they're ratting it up right in this corner, you can go back here and you can get a better blind angle from right here. You can also go right here, but this one's a little risky as you're exposed here if your team's not pushed up. And you can blind pretty much this back corner and back sign. So there's a few different options of using your paranoia. Uh, I don't honestly, I would save it for post plant. So when the enemy team is pushing you, you can blind them and you know stall a little bit more time. So if you're exploding a site, this is probably the best way to use Owen Paranoia. If you have a jet or a raise that wants to get a little bit aggressive, you know, dash or, you know, double satchel in someone's face, you can actually go down into the sewer here and blind the ramp right off spawn. So this blind is actually pretty good. So you'll blind people a ramp here as your jet and your rays are just flying up towards the ramp. So what you can do is open up the map, ping it, and it gives you a better idea of where to blind. Look at the mini map, see where you're blinding and send it. And with that, your teammate should, uh, you you know fly up the ramp and maybe get one pick an aggressive play that i like to do that actually works in high elo lobbies uh sometimes because if you have your teammates you know pushing up here they could actually watch this angle for you make it just makes it a little bit more safe so right as uh the round starts you just tp like this and you can tp uh behind this box right here usually this works better if you have someone t uh you know pushing up with you like a jet and a raise you can tp behind this box right here as your jet and raise are up the ramp right here so basically you just pinch an enemy that would be playing this angle uh most of the time i feel like i would die first over my jet and raise but at least if uh my my teammates are trading it's it's kind of worth it because you know trading in uh a game like this is better for the offensive team in my opinion I'm going to show you an alternative to the same exact play that I just did, except for this time you want to smoke as the round starts, so you want to pretty much smoke, uh, throw a smoke top ramp right here. So as the round starts, you smoke, and then you teleport to the ramp. So you can either do two things at this very moment. You can either push the smoke with another teleport. It's it's kind of dangerous because an enemy could already be lurked inside the smoke. Uh, what you could actually do in t uh, instead if you want to be more safe is you, you approach the smoke with your gun out, and you can fight anyone inside the smoke, and then go for your teleport. Uh, so... There's two alternatives. I like going for the more aggressive one. I like gambling that no one's going to push the smoke because if you do this tele uh, second teleport fast, you could actually catch someone up on this box here. You can catch someone clo uh, holding close to the smoke or just someone that's like, you know, just walking through this doorway. 
So as an aggressive omen player, I think it's important to work on your movement, especially strafing in the air to get your teleports off more in a more safer location. The reason why uh, it's important to work on your movement is because I'll show you this example right now. So you want to teleport on this platform here. It's not a bad teleport uh, as the round starts. However, it's a bad teleport if your movement sucks. And what I mean by sucky movement is if you just sit here and teleport, you're exposed from ramp and you're exposed from main. What you should actually do is, you know, jump around this corner, teleport, and then strafe back into a safe position. So it kind of looks like this. See how I just channeled my teleport? I got up here, and I was able I able to uh, get myself in a safer location. I'm not exposed from A main or the ramp anymore. So it's actually important to work on clean movement for these plays. Uh, a little teleport sequence that I'm going to show you guys that's a little bit more selfish because you basically just cuck your team with you, um, how you throw your smokes. Uh, so what you can do is you teleport onto this platform but you throw a smoke before that. So you basically throw a smoke right here, you teleport into the platform here, get into a safe location, you throw your second smoke, you throw a really bad smoke on rafter here. Uh, the reason why you throw a bad smoke here is because it safety gets you uh, up on the rafter with another teleport. So you go into the smoke, protect, just hope no one's in that smoke and you go for the second teleport. At this point you're up rafter, just hope no one's in these smokes. Again, uh, this is gambling 101 with Omen. You kind of risk your life to make aggressive Omen plays if you want to do some flashy plays. If you want to use Omen ult more aggressively, here's a sequence you've probably seen in my videos in the past. So basically when the round starts you smoke uh, heaven here, the rafter. Um, this smoke is helpful for your team and also you can actually use the smoke to your advantage after you channel your omen ult. So you smoke that and then you ult this spot specifically. This spot is a pretty good spot as screens, um, I'm going to show you exactly where they can't hear you. So if they're playing at screens, they can't really hear you. If they're playing a site, they can't hear you. If they're playing up in the smoke on rafter, they can't really hear you. If they're playing a ramp, they can't really hear you. Obviously, they can be close and push you. You can hear it and then you can cancel it, get info for your team. And the likelihood of someone playing their spawn at that very moment as the round starts is very slim. So you can actually use the smoke to your advantage, catch someone off from screens, catch someone off from heaven. And the smoke that's right here, you could actually use to your advantage. Maybe you kill someone's screens here and then you can teleport into that smoke. Hopefully no one's in the smoke and you can work around the smoke now and you're basically just you're just you're just messing with the enemies at that point. That's probably the only good aggressive omen ult that you could actually pull off multiple times. Uh, the, the reason why omen ulting in A site is really, really bad, someone could be playing elbow, you could channel your ult here, and you're just a sitting duck if you actually stick it. What you should do instead is use your omen ult for like a pinch and information gathering uh, tool. So what I mean by that is you could probably ult on top of the sign, do a quick little 360 right here, like this, 360, uh, and just get info of where the enemy might be. And you can also, you know, have your jet and race follow you and maybe pinch an enemy. So I think it's better to use it as a, uh, if you actually want to use your omen ult on site, it's better to use it as a pinch and information tool. All right, I'm going to show you exactly why I think omen is a really, really powerful lurker is because uh, I'm going to show you exactly why I think omen is a really, really powerful lurker. His smokes are semi-global, and you can assist your team from being on the other side of the map. So, pretend your team is stacked outside of B main right here. All four of them, they're making a bunch of noise. Uh, might draw some rotates, but you can actually furthermore draw more rotates through uh, your placement of your smokes. So, as your team is stacked outside, you could be in the A sewers, you could throw your smoke CT of B, and you can throw your smoke towards the heaven of B as well. As, as soon as you throw these smokes, you can work your way towards A, uh, A main here, and you can actually start working your lurk. Uh, so basically both smokes are down your teammates are towards B and now you're working a powerful lurk here So you can work towards their spawn I think I think omen in that regard is a really powerful lurker and also he can lurk in a more aggressive sense where he can default his smoke right here so as the round starts he can actually default a smoke um, towards the the main right here of a this smoke right here is so powerful because anyone that's playing uh, behind it uh, they're now they are now worried that someone could be pushing up ramp if no one's playing ramp so this smoke right here just alone if you default it it's really really powerful so now we're going to attack A from mid, uh, so that pretty much the only way to attack A site through mid is going through this vent here. Uh, as Omen, or any smoker in that regard, you should always have a default smoke. So a default smoke is something that you establish, and you pretty much throw that smoke anytime you start the round. And the reason why it's, in, it's important to establish a default smoke is because it becomes more unpredictable of what your team is actually doing. So basically, the best default smoke, in my opinion, on split is to smoke this off entirely. This right here, smoking off this vent, uh, this only allows that, that left side of mid is the only thing that's able to peak. This also, you know, there's a lot of 
pesky jet operas or rainer players that you know play the single and get the get the free pick and this kind of uh just eliminates that um from happening so with that default smoke it's a pretty good smoke to use as it becomes more unpredictable of where your team is actually going so the enemy team might have a sage and what that means is that she will actually just wall off mid completely right here your team can do two things she they, they can either ignore it or break the wall together and you know fight for that mid control. I think it's important to break the sage wall immediately because if you leave it up, it kind of eliminates the, the fact that you could be pushing past it. Um, so basically, sage is going to cuck you for a minute with her utility. Uh, once you get past all that utility, you can then put your smoke up again here and then you can try and do aggressive plays around the smoke. So what you can do is you can clear this cubby first, maybe if you have a raise, she needs it out first. You can blind up here eliminate the angles here and then you could try and do an aggressive play in the smoke you can try and go past the smoke and into this corner someone actually might be playing in the smoke and you can catch them off guard so if your team is stacked outside of a uh instead of actually throwing your uh default smoke here vent you can actually smoke off the left side of mid towards mail here this isn't a bad smoke because this kind of just blocks the entire heaven here uh the enemies have to then push this um and you can take vent control maybe use the buddy system grab someone and start working vents with your team as they're stacked outside of a and taking this vent control is really important as it leads to heaven and taking heaven control is very very important so for an aggressive omen teleport in mid the only one that i can really think of to get onto this double stack safely is you throw a a, a high pop smoke and a, a pop smoke is something that you uh you basically throw the smoke up in the air and you teleport as it blooms so it's gonna it's gonna kind of look like this you throw the smoke and you teleport as it blooms the reason why this is pretty decent is because it blocks off the enemy vision of what you're doing. Obviously, they can hear your TP and probably, uh, probably predict what you're doing, but it just it blocks off vision just enough to get up here, get your gun out, and take a gunfight. So let's pretend the enemy team has a sage and she just walls off mid brainlessly every single round and it gets really annoying. Uh, what you can actually do is play aggressively because she's probably not going to expect anything of it. So she's going to wall off this. Uh, so basically what you want to do is break this panel right here. So you break this panel and your goal is to teleport into this corner. But before you teleport you can actually uh, blind the right side to make it a little bit easier and a little bit more safe for yourself. So you can blind towards this pipe right here if you aim at this pipe. This blind should get this box if any is playing up on this box and they should also get this angle on vent so it's gonna look something like this so you break the panel right here you get your blind ready you blind pipe and then you teleport into the uh you know if omen would let me teleport you teleport into this corner so what happens right here you can catch someone off box you catch someone uh, off vent here and if anyone's gonna peek you from uh mail your team is right behind you or should be behind you to get this trade if someone's selfishly peeking you from this angle to get this kill your team's gonna be right there to uh refrag so let's transition over to attacking B site with Omen. So this is what your smoke should be looking like. You can actually use the minimap to guide your smokes uh, a little bit easier because this doorway is pretty big and trying to get this smoke off uh, right the first time it can be hard. So use your minimap and you want to get it perfectly in between the doorway of uh, uh, the heaven peak here. So basically your first smoke should be here and your second sh uh, smoke should be covering CT entrance here. So this is what your smoke should be looking like. This smoke covers the entire heaven, so they either have to push past the smoke to rafter, or they have to drop hell. And the second smoke should be also like a wall. Basically, they can't lurk inside of it, and it blocks off CT. So these smokes are pretty important as a default to push B as Omen. Moving along, we're going to talk about Omen's paranoia, aka his blind. There's a lot of places to blind on B site. There's no best set in stone blind here. So I'm just going to show you a few that work for me. So first of all, we're going to hop on this cart right here and you, you can take out your paranoia and you want to blind this path right here. So this blind right here, if you look at your mini map, it blinds the close up on this box here and it blinds default. So it eliminates any angles that the enemy could be holding here. If they do get blind, they have to fall back. So this blind is pretty good. So obviously if your team's getting ready to push, you should already have this smoked off. This, uh, this blind right here on rafter, here. Uh, in terms of with the smoke right here, this is really good. Anyone who pushes that smoke onto rafter will be blind. They have to drop that angle or they have to fall off, uh, fall back. So this blind right here is also really good. If you have a sage on your team that you know walls this typical cross right here as a uh, normal sage would, blinding right here and getting ready to push for your team uh, is pretty good as well. It's blind yeah. default and being at a closer angle to assist your team. So if you have information that someone's held right here, if you hear someone uh, drop down, or maybe even if you want to just stop people from rotating to heaven real fast, this blind is actually pretty good. You get in this, uh, this corner towards the tire. You, you look towards this tile right here. You want to get to the middle of this tile right here, and you throw a blind like this. Blinded. 
So this gets all of this platform right here and it gets people rotating out of this doorway as well. And this is pretty good for stalling people's rotates. As I mentioned before, as you can blind from A sewer to A ramp, um, if your team is pushing A real fast, you can actually do the same thing from B link or market, whatever you want to call it, towards the uh, heaven here. So basically, it looks like this. You want to get up here and get your blind ready, ping on the map may, uh, to make it easier for yourself, and blind this. But before you're blind, and if your team is ready to push up, if your jets and, and rays are ready to explode, you actually should smoke this first because your blind won't reach this area. So you uh, smoke that, and then you can blind the entire uh, heaven right here. With that combo right there, your team can push up to uh, towards male, and everyone here should be blind, they should fall back into the smoke, and it should give you free territory. So let's pretend that this is smoked off right here, and uh, you can go behind this box and use your paranoia to eliminate the left angles here, but I actually think it's better to eliminate more right angles because there's so many... Uh, so there's so much more happening on the right side that if you eliminate it, uh, it becomes less of a problem for your team. So if you if you actually want to go for an aggressive play here and you think that there's someone, uh, you know, just camping top left here, you can actually smoke off right here, blind the uh, top of the box here, like pretty much right here, and you teleport across. The reason why you teleport right here and not right here is if you teleport over here, you might get exposed from this angle here. If you teleport right here, you won't be seen from anyone here that's completely blind. So that's just an aggressive omen play that you could do. It's a little bit more selfish with the way that you use your smoke, but it gets the job done sometimes. So right now I'm going to show you my favorite aggressive omen play, my favorite sequence you can actually do in split. So basically it looks like this. As the round starts, you throw your smoke on the double stack right here. You then approach main and then you blind close angles and default. And then you strafe around this corner and you teleport into the smoke. Then you can either teleport into the rafter here, or I'm going to show you another teleport. You're back up on the box and you can teleport into the corner of hell. I think both these teleports are phenomenal and you can, you can actually catch a lot of people off guard because they have no clue what you're doing. Obviously in higher elo lobbies, I had people camp this box right here and they just wait for me to uh, appear in the smoke and they just kill me for free. Also while throwing the smoke while doing that aggressive play, it kind of helps your team. Uh, it kind of blocks off vision of Rafter. So if your team is pushing out here, it blocks off vision from Rafter in uh, somewhat heaven. Obviously, this isn't the most perfect smoke. They can play underneath it and, you know, pick you off. But this smoke blocks off a lot of vision for your team to push in sight. So using your Omen L to attack on B is a little bit tricky, but there's only two particular ways that I would use it. So one, I would go back B right here and use it as a pinch mechanic. Uh, so basically ask your Jet and your Raze if you want to make an aggressive play together, or just your team if they want to hold your teleport in. So you want to teleport back on this box right here. Obviously, you don't have to stick your ult and you can cancel whenever. Uh, this ult is pretty good because it gathers information of who's back site. And if anyone decides to peek you from like default or right here, your team is pushing behind you and can trade your ult instantly. As for the second ultimate, you could actually use it more aggressively and go towards the bottom of the stairs right here. This isn't the worst place to spawn in because you do have your paranoia. If you hear someone's staircase, like top stairs, as you spawn in, if you hear them alley, you do have your paranoia to work against them. Uh, the thing about this one, though, people could be playing really close on the stairs right here. If you spawn in, you're basically a sitting duck. Uh, the reason why this spawn isn't too bad because you're protected from the... Um, this angle right here, you're protected from spawn and you're protected from the initial stair peak. So it's not the worst thing in the world. If your team is aggressing through mid and you're up male right now, your best bet for smoke placements is probably to smoke off the uh, the heaven peak here and to smoke off CT before your team actually pushes in. These smokes are pretty good and you can actually follow up um, with this smoke with a blind like this to ensure that no one will push that smoke as you cross. So that this isn't a bad sequence for uh, pushing up heaven here. Say if you do have heaven control and you have this smoked off, a second good blind would probably be blind hell right here. Um, more likely than not, if a, an enemy team knows that you're about to push, someone could be playing hell and uh, blinding this before your enemy wraps this corner could actually really be beneficial. If your team is pushed onto B site and they're planning the spike and you're caught in this position right here, you'd actually turn this into a one way into your favor. So something like this. So this one way works phenomenally. Uh, obviously if they push this, you have the advantage over them. The only problem is if anyone's pushing from the vent, they could actually you know, catch you off easily as you, they can hear you from here. You, obviously, you can play close up on your one way like this. And if you're caught in this position, you maybe get like a kill right here. You can TP into this uh, mail and maybe catch someone that's flanking you. So there's a lot of ways you can work around this, uh, this, this heaven area. So now we're going to transition over to defending a site as omen. Um, 
first we're going to start off with a very simple smoke here uh this smoke right here blocks off the initial push uh from the a rush obviously they can blind and push past this but this smoke right here if you're playing close up on it you you might have an advantage if your team is playing ramp and playing main right here so this isn't the worst smoke right here as you will see them as soon as they exit the smoke i'm going to show you an example of a really good one-way smoke that you could use to cover the uh, a main right here if you don't want to play close up to the simple smoke you can actually make a one-way right here so if uh basically if they cross it you can see them first uh the problem in higher yield lobbies jets and rays seem to ignore this and they just fly past it anyways to ramp so it kind of makes it obsolete i typically don't like to use this one way as i'd rather just pretty much just smoke off if they do push um so with this one way you can actually see them first as they push through this area so it's pretty nifty another way to hold a using a one-way smoke from a different angle uh would be to go up on here this platform here or even use this sign uh so if you know that they're pushing main real fast and they're just making a bunch of noise rain is throwing her eyeballs and uh ray is about to double satchel in you can actually make a one way right here and this one way works really well because they're not going to expect you to be up here so if anyone drops down this little ramp into here they're going to lose their accuracy and you get the first uh, upper hand on them and also you can use this spot too and they're not going to really um, expect you being on the high ground. If the enemy team are actually pushing like madmen and they're disrespecting either your simple smoke or your one-way smoke, you can actually change up the angle and do a more proactive one-way. And what I mean by that is you could actually go up on this platform here and throw a one-way as soon as they're pushing in. And this one-way works really, really well. So you want to throw something like that. You can use this platform and use this one-way. So basically, you'll see, you'll see their feet first as they uh, uh, come in here. And on top of that, if they do drop down from this little lip right here, they'll lose their accuracy and you get the upper hand on there too. Uh, also, you can use this one way from the sign as well. So it works on both platforms and you kind of catch the enemy off guard with your elevation. There's a few one ways you can use to defend A here. Uh, these are one ways I typically don't use because just how niche they are. Uh, you can actually one way the A main peak here like that. Uh, this is okay for when they actually push. I mean, but if they do push fast, they're probably going to be past this angle already and it becomes dangerous. And then you can also use a one way on this ramp right here. If they do push the ramp really fast, you have this one way too. If you put the uh, smoke right there, it's going to fall. You can see their feet when they come up the ramp. So if a jet and race push you real fast up the ramp, you'll see them first. So if you know the enemy team are, so if you know the enemy, uh, so if you know the enemy team is pushing really, really fast, what you can actually do is um, you throw your simple smoke right here, but you have a teammate maybe line up right here and you have a teammate peak ramp with you. Uh, you can actually throw the simple smoke like this, teleport across, and then uh, as soon as you hear them pass the smoke, you can actually punish them with a blind. So you basically just blind this pocket. So all three of you converge onto this spot. So anyone past the smoke, you obviously can't see, but if there's like two or three people here, they're gonna be blind and it's gonna be free picks. Let's say you're playing a site and you get smoked off from screens and you get smoked off from rafter here uh what you can do immediately is throw a counter smoke like this as soon as the smoke blooms then you can start fighting back for the territory this smoke right here actually catches the enemy by surprise and they have to f they it basically forces them to use their own utility to get past this point or just fall back so it's a good little proactive way to uh you know just fight back towards the enemy smokes as for paranoia usage uh paranoia is really good for stopping enemy pushes so what you can do is play uh play closer up here and you know paranoia this alley right here this is actually pretty decent because if you paranoia this, it's going to get this corner here. They're going to most likely be sitting in this corner, so it might be free picks for you. But be wary that they can actually swing you from the left. So if, if you want to play a more passive angle here, you can actually go into this corner and wait for them to push past this point and maybe uh, just paranoia everything under the rafter here. So if you paranoia this and wait a little bit, you can actually maybe get free picks this way as well. As for Omen Teleport, Omen is actually pretty good for holding A site. Uh, no surprise. The way that he can reposition is pretty good with his teleport. Say if the enemy team spots you from down below, you can teleport up on the rafter. You can teleport below the rafter. Uh, you can actually fall back into site if they spot you. And you can teleport around the sign. You can actually use the sign. I think this is not a bad play. If they spot you here, you can either teleport here. Uh, this one's a little bit more risky because they can just swing you right away. But then you can also teleport to elbow. So the way that you can reposition as Omen is actually really, really uh, beneficial for holding a site as for using your omen ultimate as a defender there's like three main ways that i would use it myself so obviously there's one way of using it say if you're playing a site and the enemy team is pushing b you can rotate really fast and help your team on that site the second way is maybe if the enemy team is pushing a really fast and they spot you on a and they fall back and it looks like they're gonna go b now 
You could actually go on B site with your omen ult, cancel it, and then big brain them and just be sitting A the entire time. Maybe catch people off guard that way. I think the third and the most fun way to use it is check on the enemy team who they have. If they have a Phoenix, if they have a Sobo, a Killjoy, anyone that has an ult that you can actually counter with an omen ult. Um, it's always fun to ult behind an, uh, a Phoenix's returning body. That's always a really, really fun time. So be on the lookout for that. I think you can make some really cool plays that way as well. So if the enemy team is pushing a site really fast and you want to run a quick flank with your ult, you can actually just ult right here. I think this is the best ult spot. Obviously, this won't work in higher elo lobbies a lot of the time, but you can also assist yourself with your paranoia. So you basically out here, if they're pushed up already, you can use your paranoia to uh, clear out any of these angles right here. This is actually a pretty good paranoia because if someone notices that you're ulting, they're going to most likely be right here watching for your peak. Uh, you can paranoia them out and maybe change up your angle and teleport into like this cubby right here. So moving along to mid, I actually don't think Omen is the best agent to cover mid. I think there's a lot of other agents that do it better, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you some things that in, in uh, the rare cases that I do cover mid, I'm going to show you exactly what I do. Uh, sometimes I default my smoke right here in mid to help out my team better. Usually I have a sage on my team that just walls it off, so it doesn't really matter, but I typically like to smoke this out right here. Pay attention to this box right here. I put my smoke towards that box more as it's very important. If you don't, there's going to be a gap in the smoke where the enemies can shoot you from so a smoke should look like this so this is completely smoked off and they can't see but the only way they can pass it is if they actually go through the smoke if you do find yourself covering middle as omen here's a few one ways that might help you out here there's the one on the top left boxes here this one's not as good as the other one but this one does uh you know this one will you know do its job the the better one would be covering market uh the swing on market this one right here this one is actually really really strong because you will see them first no matter how much they back up here they will not be able to see past this angle so this is all they'll see they'll see the very bottom of the staircase you can see their feet first and it just works in your favor a lot more so right as the round starts and if you want to play aggressively in mid, if you think the enemies are going to just push really fast, what you can do is throw that default smoke here and then you can teleport into this corner right here doing a little strafe. This way, the enemies, if they do push up fast and they're making a lot of noise, they might not hear you teleport in this corner. But if they do not make noise and they hear you teleport, uh, you're pretty much just screwed if they spam it. So it's kind of risk and reward. So typically, if you're defending vent, this is always going to be smoked off by the enemy. Uh, what you can do is throw a close counter smoke to uh, counter if they do push up. You could throw a smoke that kind of makes it into a tunnel like this. This way, you could actually go into the other smoke and start clearing that smoke. And it just kind of makes the enemy team feel uncomfortable about pushing this fast. So, it's just a good way to catch the enemy off guard. Again, I feel like this is a game of chess. Uh, if you counter a smoke real fast, they're not going to expect it. And you can actually push, it, uh, push into it and capitalize on it. So if you're defending heaven here uh, towards B, you can actually make a one way right here. This is pretty useful if people are actually pushing up mid and aggressing towards it. So you can see their feet first again. Uh, they can't see you. We're at the home stretch right now defending B site as omen. So a very, very simple smoke if they do push up B main here is just to smoke the uh, entrance off like this. Again, make it like a wall. Don't make it anything lurkable. This smoke right here actually works pretty well because, you know, they can't really peek outside of it without being seen. Uh, the reason why you don't want to put your smoke in like this is because they can actually uh, get some information um, if no one's actually peeking B main for free. So you want to have your smoke exactly like this. I'll show you guys an example of what I mean with a smoke like this. So some people I see smoke like this. This is actually pretty bad because what they can do is they can push past the, uh, past the smoke and they can start peeking angles a little bit without actually being seen from uh, the rafter here. So with this smoke, um, they can actually just lurk a little bit and you know get some information as to where's uh, who, who's playing what. If you, if you actually do want to smoke off B main like that and you want to get a little aggressive, I've, I've actually done this play a few times where you throw a smoke like this. Uh, make sure it's like covering the box a little bit on the right here. So you throw a smoke like this and then you teleport on the box. This is a little cheeky play that I've gotten away with a few times. So this this play right here is basically to watch who grabs the orb or who uh, peeks into the smoke first. You can maybe get one pick for free and then fall back or you get one pick and that's, that's it. You just die. 
So if I think they're going to push B fast, you can grab a buddy here uh, and double up on this angle. So what you're going to do is Omen, you're going to make a one-way smoke right here and you're going to TP across immediately. So right here, uh, your friend is going to peek and draw some attention here. Uh, at, and at that point, the attention drawn, uh, you can use it to your advantage. You can also use this one-way to your advantage if, the, if more uh, people push in. So overall, a good setup if you just double up with someone. Another easy way to hold B main is just simply smoking off this cross right here. Obviously, wait for it to bloom, and then you can push in like this. The only way that they can actually spot you without going through the smoke is this head spot, uh, headshot box right here. But by the time you pass, you've already gotten enough area gained where you can actually get up here, and you can see them first when they jump up or if they pass this smoke. I'm going to show you guys a funny play, it usually doesn't work, but when it does, it's it's kind of hilarious. So what you want to do is smoke main off immediately, so as the round starts to smoke this off. Then you want to follow that up with a insta flash, and then you want to teleport into this corner. Sometimes you get caught uh, teleporting up here, so make sure you perfect where you teleport. So once you teleport into this corner, someone might swing this smoke. And they're not going to swing the way that you expect them to swing. They're probably going to swing like this. Uh, and then you get a free, a, a free kill or two, or three, or four, or five. Who knows? But I've gotten a uh, fast 3Ks from this point, and it's kind of funny when it works. If you think the enemy team is going to push B main fast, what you can do is make a one-way smoke like this. Uh, of course... Everyone loves Omen one-way smokes. Uh, you're going to see their feet first. They can't see you here. So you can use this to your advantage. So if you actually want to use this one way, here's a useful tip. You could actually play this um, box right here, the lowest level of the box here. You can make your one way. You can use it. And then the best thing after, uh, you might get like a pick or two here. You can actually reposition like you're just teleporting across right here into safety. Obviously, TPing right here might not be the best play as someone could just run out and kill you. But I think TPing back here is just more beneficial. So when your smoke fades, that's when the enemy team is most likely to push. So imagine you smoke right here, your smoke is going to fade and they're going to push off that. So what you can do is when the smoke fades, you paranoia, uh, you can actually peek out, maybe get one pick or two, and then you can actually reposition up here with a strafe teleport. And it's just a nice little way to reposition and maybe go for more. So typically I don't like to play this spot because usually the enemy team has a sage and they just wall this off when they cross. Uh, however, you can you can make this a one way. If they don't have a sage, you could probably just use a one way right here. This might be a good one way to use if they do push in. You Again, you can see them first. You can also play from this position here and they won't expect you to be on the high ground here. Let's say if the enemies actually push out B main past this point and they fill up this area and you need a quick smoke to, uh, you know, just draw some time. I think this is a pretty viable smoke. This smoke actually just cuts off them from pushing site real quick. The only other way they can actually go around is this way, you know, through the elbow here. Uh, this smoke is actually pretty decent because, you know, it just draws a little bit more time, a little bit more delay. Obviously, your team should be, you know, filling up heaven here and just watching this area. So, I think this is a pretty viable smoke on the fly. Another cheeky one way you can use for defending is this one right here. I've gotten away with this uh, several times where you just make a one way right here and you play up on this box. Uh, they're typically not going to spam this because they just going to think it's a one way. They're going to play cautious around it. But what you can do is as soon as the one way goes down, uh, you can surprise anyone that's playing right here. You could actually maybe surprise people that actually like push the one way. Uh, psychopaths. So here's kind of a scenario why I think Omen's pretty decent at holding B-Site. He can make a one-way at B-Main here uh, before the enemies push in. He can maybe get like a one, a one pick here, one or two, and then he can reposition on this side and hold uh, for when the enemies actually do push in. And then he can also reposition on the rafter here from this angle. So if the enemy team is pushing B-Main really, really fast, what you can do with your ult is you can ult right here. But you can also better yet alt right here. Uh, I actually think the one behind is way better. But this one is also a little bit cheeky because uh, the people rotating from market might not know where exactly where you're ulting. They're not going to be used to this elevation. So you might be able to catch someone off from market right here. Uh, and also, if someone if you're omen ulting, just be wary that someone could be pushing garage right here. And I think the omen ult right here is a little bit better as you're cut off... Um, as you pretty much cut off any angle that they could be peeking right away and you can start playing the flank. So if you're feeling a little bit cheeky and you want to use your omen ultimate to outplay the enemies uh, and actually just fake it, uh, so a typical killjoy will ult garage right here and once the ult detonates uh, you get detained. But what you can do instead before it actually detains everyone you can ult outside of it like this. Wait a little bit 
and cancel like that. And maybe you can surprise an enemy or two, maybe get a few uh, a few outplays. And this also works for backside here. Um, say if the enemies push this really fast, they don't know you're here, but they go to clear it and you're not there because you just omen off the way. So you can omen out like this, you get to wait for a little bit, and maybe surprise an enemy or two uh, when you come back. So that pretty much wraps up Omen on Split. If you actually enjoyed the video and you learned something new, feel free to drop a like as it does help out the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You guys have a wonderful day. I am out. Peace.